All right. I am the Middle Jesus, and I am here with... Drunken Master Paul. And where are we in this video? We are in my garage. And, dude, I, I had so much fun doing the opening of this video. Now, this is for our, our the main cabinet build we did. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, this whole opening with the uh, the welder, and we had a fog machine going, and... That's right, because we... Let's rock! <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Thanks for letting me do that, because yeah. I really wanted to have a cool opening to it. Yeah, actually, you know, part of the fun of these videos is coming up with, like, a really interesting, you know, intro to, you know, because <laughs> we, nev we never know what we're going to do, right? We right. It's so seldom we plan things like that. I remember this, that was early in the morning. Like, we got to your yeah. house, or I got to your house, like, at 7? Yeah, Something yeah, like that on a seven. Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> and this whole bit with me walking around in the background, mm -hmm. I watch, I rewatch this one every now and again, it still makes me giggle. Yeah, yeah. Because I just kind of gave you an idea of what I'm going to do, and then you just went. <laughs> well, I think that we, we wanted some sort of like, okay, this is what the video is about. Right. But how do we do that in a way that, that it doesn't bore people, right? Right, right. And <laughs> you going back there <laughs> with the power tools is awesome. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it was definitely awesome. And again, me without facial hair. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, yeah, it's you. It's you, your baby face, man. I know. Look at that. It just makes me want to pinch your little cheeks. Oh, no, yeah. bitchy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you had all this, all the props. That was yeah. awesome. Machete and that. And then this, I was, I just went for this, but I thought I, I was going to set your hair on fire. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, because if you can't tell, that is actually lit and burning. <laughs> actually lit that damn thing up. Yeah. <laughs> so this is fun. So you wanted to, you wanted a main cabinet. And yes. we wanted to build this. And uh, originally, I was going to build this from scratch. Yeah, or was it with wood? Or yeah, with, yeah. I was okay. going to, you know, I had plans and you, you know, particle board and everything, and build yeah. from scratch. And then I thought, you know, you know, f that noise, because it was going to cost me more money to right. in just materials than to go and find one. Right. And I found this on Craigslist. God, I can black diamond or someplace in East Egypt for <laughs> uh, I think it was 130 bucks. I paid for it. Okay. And that I mean, be cheaper than the materials, and then it's all put together. Yeah. And, you know, and with a bunch of stuff we could use. So that was cool. So so you bought this as a Capcom bowling cap. Yeah, I just wanted the cabinet. I didn't okay. give, give a shit what now, the game was. Now, did you know at the time that, that underneath it was Centipede? Not a clue. That's right, because we opened it up, and there's instructions yeah. for Centipede. Yep. Yeah. yeah the, okay. the, I, did we open it first? I guess I'll have to watch the video to find out. I know, out. it's been so long, right? Yeah, and sometimes, you know, when you're shooting things, you know, we, we actually show them out of order. Right. But I think we discovered it when we were tearing the uh, the vinyl off the side. That's, yeah, that's right. And uh, there's, Centipede was there. Because, I mean, w when you bought this, this is a, I mean, frankly, I mean, it's pretty ugly. It's it's beat up. You oh, didn't yeah. care. I mean, because, I mean, that, that's what, that, that was the beauty of it, right? Well, was that was that, the point, is I, yeah. I didn't want to get a cool game. Yeah. Yeah, I just, all I cared about was the structure. And... Right. Because of that, see, there's the centipedes uh, already oh, pulled off okay. on the side there, and uh, and yeah, so I didn't, you know, I, I really didn't want to get like a, a real cabinet. If I'd have known, if this had been an actual centipede cabinet, yeah, I wouldn't have done this. <laughs> right. So for all you people, shut the hell up. <laughs> you know, we got a lot of shit for uh, for tearing into the you know a classic quote unquote classic centipede cabinet. It was a Capcom bowling, guys. Well, it had been converted. Yeah. So so we do get comments on this video. Uh, Every once in a while, because basically what the way people feel is that there's a limited number of these classic cabinets out there, and right. they want to sort of preserve it. And we, right. you know, in their mind, we basically, you know, ripped and and, and gutted it for this cheap May Market cab, which I which we I, did, which we did. Fair and I, enough. And I can understand, although. And to be honest, like this was, in, I mean, while that does look out like it's actually pretty decent shape, I, 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 I don't want, I don't want centipede. Like, no, I, I'm not that big of a fan of centipede. To where it, not even in my, you know, mind would I was like, okay, I'll just put a centipede machine in my house. Yeah, and that, the thing is, the thing that makes it a centipede machine is the stickers on the side, right, and the guts, and that those are already gone. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, so they, it's already been converted, and just for you know the last bit on this for everyone to know. Just a couple of months ago, I contacted a guy on Craigslist who was looking for these cabinets, oh, okay. and he came over and he took the guts. Oh, the okay. guts went to a good home. Yeah, that, that's right. Because we kept the, uh, everything in here, and you basically were, you know, because we didn't right. have to do with them. Right. Except that monitor, we, I, I got rid of that. That thing was just ruined. Yeah. We're completely gone. But as far as the circuitry and the boards and everything else, it's in a good home. The guy restores classic cabinets. Right. 
And so he was thrilled to get it. And I gave it to him for free. In fact, he was didn't even say he was looking for this stuff. He was actually selling um, arcade stuff. He has a bunch of them up in like Marysville or something. And cool. he drove all the way down to Seattle to pick it up. So, guys, it's been redeemed. The, the guts, the soul is yeah. in a good place. And, and actually, uh, this main arcade cab in my game room has gotten a lot of use. Like every time we have a party, like it's... It's a it's an awesome machine. One one thing I really like about it is that it has that classic arcade cab look, like the design to it. Yeah, right? that's exactly why I chose that one um, because it had that. It's and they're really adaptable. If you look at that style, that's that's the classic one. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, it's tall. It basically has all all the has the right had, angles. The right angles exactly. Yeah. This is a pretty funny part here about beer bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I say beer bitch and you just roll with it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And the thing you guys can't see is uh, we didn't get a shot or a shot of it didn't make it in. It's right behind him. It said the rules. Uh, oh, that's right. It said drink beer, don't die. <laughs> and I think I had like a drawing of a hand. That's you know, right. Bleeding or something. With a circle and a line through it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I kind of struggled to get the beer open here, but I was really determined to open and, it. And you see, see, I'm leaning there like, yeah. I, you know, I could get whacked in yeah. the face. Yeah, this, yeah. This is pretty, there's my challenger. Oh, back it there. knows the blue over the license plate. Yep, I had to tape that up <laughs> yep, because just in I case, needed to get a shot. Just in case somebody got creative. So yeah, and it was it was really fun because we had an idea of how we were going to go about doing this, but a lot of this stuff we just improvised on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, what do you want to do? And I knew this was going into your uh, your man cave, so. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to build it the way you wanted. And I appreciated that I didn't have to do all this because I would have lost a finger. You would have. And yeah. I really like doing this. Yeah. There we go. There's there's your... Uh... This was a pain in the ass to get off. Remember that? Oh, it was, it was yeah, really hard. Really you, hard. You broke several nails just doing that. Yeah, right. But the fact that you did, in fact, right here, I think we talk about, yeah, we had to go to the, the belt center. store and get a belt Now, center. this is one of my favorite scenes in, in, in <laughs> many of my videos. Which is oh, basically walking the, walk yeah. the dog. Walking the dog. Walking the dog. Like especially since you're you're talking about here about about safety. Yeah, here we go. There yeah. we are. We and walk, then, yeah. drinking a beer at the same time. <laughs> now, by the way, that didn't do shit, did it? Oh no, there's no weight on it whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'll it just yeah. look cool. Oh, I remember finding it because if yeah. you if you rewind, don't do it now. You're listening to us. But in early when you took that off, you'll notice I didn't look at the inside of yep. this door. Yep. I just set it aside, and then we looked at it later, and here's all the instructions on how to set up the uh, yep. the arcade. Just a, it was so cool to turn that around and go, holy crap, look what we missed! And actually, that we framed that, and that's now in my game room. Mm -hmm. So so around the corner, you guys don't see it on camera, but but the the, the big instructions for the the centipede arcade are are in my game room. So it lives on. Yes. <laughs> So we didn't really do bad things to it. And no. I really think you should have left it like that, dude. That's a good look. <laughs> That's a good look. I so don't this, you thinking about me. So this is the same day. Yeah. Uh, uh, thankfully, it turned sunny out. Right. Right. And then we were able to to haul this into your backyard and then uh, prime it and paint it. Right. And, and something you don't see here is we were going to shoot this with a, a spray gun. That's right. And it just wouldn't work. The little compressor I had just did not have enough woof to do it. That's right. So we wound up um, painting it with a brush. And it turned yeah. out really good. Yeah. I think that um, I've... If, if, if yeah, I was... Why am I doing this for you? <laughs> and guys, this was all improvised. Oh, yeah. <laughs> None of this is scripted. This is, this he just is... asked me that, and that was so funny. Like, hey, wait a second. <laughs> Bust my balls out here in the sun for your... Hey. <laughs> So okay, so that was basically the end of that day, um, right? And then and then it, dr it dried, and then you brought it over, right? Right, right. It dried in my garage for a, a few days, yeah. And then I threw it in the truck and brought it over to your place. That's right. And then at the end of this video here, I kind of wanted to show the the other step, which is all the computer part, the the monitor. The monitor I actually drove out to to Kent, uh, bought a guy off, off Craigslist for mm -hmm. ten dollars or something like that. You know, right. some cheap monitor. Um, and then at the end here, we, we basically show the building of the, the computer and all that sort of stuff. Because I kind of felt like it, for a video about building an arcade cab, there there's the part where we did, which basically just sort of strip it out. But I wanted right. to show the part putting it in there. Yeah, and, and showing it working, too, because that's the whole thing is, did we ever get the damn thing finished? Right, exactly. And, uh, and we did. I mean, the interesting thing about these videos is we have an idea of how it should look at the end. Right. But it never quite makes it yeah. there. I mean, we had to improvise a few things. I mean, you put those ghetto speakers up there. I know. And, and the light switch kills me. It's an actual, like, house light switch you installed in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's probably exposed and going to burn oh, yeah. down my house. Yeah, have drunk people play that more often, buddy. Make sure you have a webcam on it so of you course, get a viral of course. video out of it. And then this, uh, this X-Arcade uh, right here was donated to me by a buddy of mine. His name's Matt. 
And, yeah. you know, I've, I've gotten some flack a little bit from that because people say that that's a little bit of a, of a cheap kind of non-hardcore... Yeah, well, it's not a hard art... Hard yeah. hardcore? Ah, more beer! <laughs> it's not hardcore. This is We do this for fun. Well, and the other thing, too, is I know at my parties people will, will potentially spill beer, and, mm -hmm. and I just don't want to worry about stuff necessarily getting broken or being really expensive, because I'm not that kind of collector anyways. Right. I, don't, I don't like to worry about stuff. I do like how we kept the, uh, the, coin, the, slot. the coin slot. Yeah, I thought that was a great touch. Yeah, it, it is really cool. Although, oh. every time I work on the computer... <laughs> I it, it, Bang I, your head on those oh, things? And they're sharp. <laughs> yeah, I tried to work out how to just get those removed, and yeah. I just never got around yeah. to it. And then, basically, here's the software. You know, it's funny, though. I'm watching this. I've been thinking about redoing it uh, because I kind of want to put more... Now that I've had it longer, uh -huh. I want to put more games in it. Yeah, I think it would be cool to show people more of how you set this up, too. Yeah, because I, I do get questions on it quite a bit, actually. So Yeah, because I remember, if you'll see one of our earlier videos on setting up my my main machine that's right really early videos and i think we both weigh like 50 pounds more at the time <laughs> it's kind of weird and disturbing to watch that we tried to set this up and screwed it up and it went sideways literally went <laughs> sideways right. on us and we couldn't get it back <laughs> that's right. and yeah we still put the video up we're like yeah and screw yeah, this sure, right go yeah. for it I know, but no so. i think it'd be a really good video you should do that yeah that, that's that is I should definitely do it. Although, uh, the, you know, it's funny. I was I was just playing my arcade cab the other day because you know, again, mm -hmm. what I like about it is the fact I can literally just flip it on. It boots right into the software, and I'm good to go. Yeah, and just play these classics. Yeah, and and, and it feels like the the classic arcade yeah. games. And, and at the end here, of course, that's Rebecca. And I wanted a shot where we showed us actually playing some yeah, games. Playing Raiden, I believe. Yeah, it's, that's one of my favorite games to play on yeah, arcade. Definitely. No, it was fun doing, and uh, it's it is a work in progress, which you haven't worked on since I've noticed. Mm -mm. No, because <laughs> you just keep moving on to the next thing. I know, but no, it was fun to do, and I, I really like building stuff with my hands, and and yeah. I just come up with crazy stuff. So, and actually, I like that in the in these videos where you can kind of be that person mm -hmm. that that has the hammer out, has you know, has the, the saw out, and like cuts things up, and and you can be beer bitch, and I can be beer bitch. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's got to have a beer bitch. Oh yeah, the, I was gonna say the last thing I'd like to do with this, I think at some point, um, if I ever moved it in my game room to where it was a little bit more exposed, on the side put some vinyl, so like some really yeah. cool looking graphics and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I think uh, Rebecca was talking about doing some painting for it too. Like, mm -hmm. I think doing some graphic, and you can get those. Yeah. You can get those made. Um, I think the same place you had the the marquee done. That's true. Uh, you can just have custom stuff done, and they'll do a vinyl that fits that. Yeah, that's true. That's well, that true. was a good time. I, I liked watching that one. I had a blast shooting it, and it's it's one of the videos I, I watch myself sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a classic. Lots of fun to edit as well and just shoot it, so... All right, man. Well, thanks for, for doing this audio commentary. Thanks for feeding me more beer. Uh, uh, always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always the beer bitch. Thank you guys on Patreon for continuing to support my videos and my channel and making these possible. So we'll, uh, we'll do more of these in the future. All right. Take care, guys. Cheers. Take, take care.